All right, thanks for watching. And today I would like to calculate something I call the Reddit integral, simply because I found it on a file called the Reddit integral. So maybe it has a different name, but <laughs> it's still really cool. It involves maybe, you know, our Basil's problem and stuff. So it's pretty, really cool. And by the way, um, today I will show you one way of doing it without trig substitutions. In another video, I will show you to do it with trig substitutions, which is a bit longer, but still pretty cool. So, what I would like to calculate is the following integral. Integral from zero to infinity, ln of e to the x plus one over e to the x minus one from zero to infinity. And the first step is sort of to get rid of those e to the x's. Now, you might just guess let's do u equals to e to the x, but it turns out it's nicer to do u equals to e to the negative x. Because then u of zero equals to one, u of infinity equals to zero, and then du is minus e to the minus x dx, and that's minus u dx. So dx would be minus one over u du. And therefore, our integral would be the integral from uh, 1 to 0, ln of 1 over u plus 1 over 1 over u minus 1, and then minus 1 over u du. And so notice, while well, the signs are reversed, we have integral from 1 to 0, but we also have this negative sign which puts the integral back in order. And so what this integral becomes, integral from zero to one, ln, and let's put everything on the common denominator. So one plus u over u, over one minus u over u, whoosh, that cancels out, and then one over u, du. And then what this becomes, is simply, sorry, let's use the identity ln of a over b is ln of a minus ln of b, and we get integral from zero to one of ln of one plus u over u minus integral from zero to one ln of one minus u over u, sorry, du. And we get two separate integrals, which we'll evaluate separately. So let's call this A, let's call this B. Oh no, not the Bs, but yes, the Bs, because I want to save the Bs, and um, uh, it turns out this is easier to evaluate. So, step two. Let's do B. And for this, we want to build it up. And for this, turns out we have to use our best friend again. So let's use the fact that 1 over 1 minus x equals to the sum from n from 0 to infinity of x to the n. Let's do that and then let's integrate. And it turns out that integral of this is minus ln of 1 minus x equals to sum from n from zero to infinity of x to the n plus one over n plus one plus a constant. But if you plug in x equals to zero here, this gives you zero. So zero plus c equals to minus ln of one, which is zero. So indeed the constant is just zero. So we don't even need that. And what's our integral? Minus ln of one minus u over u. So let's just do, uh, I don't know, so yeah, absolute values, but because uh, u is between zero and one, it's fine. And what we then get is, you know, minus ln of one minus u over u, then just becomes the sum from zero to infinity of, so, u to the n plus 1, but we divide by u, so just u to the n over n plus 1. And now, remember, we want to integrate, so let's do, you know, minus integral from 0 to 1 
ln of 1 minus u over u du becomes the integral, so sum from 0 to infinity of integral from 0 to 1, u to dn over n plus 1 du. And then that just becomes the sum from 0 to infinity of, let's see, an antiderivative is u to the n plus 1 over n plus 1 from 0 to 1. But we also have this factor of 1 over n plus 1. In the end, we get, so, 1 over n plus 1 times 1 over n plus 1. So, 1 over n plus 1 squared. And yes, you may recognize this as pi squared over 6, but we won't use that yet. We'll use this in a second because it turns out if you calculate A, there's a, sim there's a nice simplification with that too. So let's take this and let's calculate A, and you'll see it's very similar to this formula. So step 3, or I guess still in step 2. So let's calculate A, which again, it's the integral from 0 to 1, ln of 1 plus u over u. And again, let's use our best friend. So 1 over 1 plus x, that's 1 over 1 minus minus x. And if you'd like, that's the sum from 0 to infinity of minus x to the n, which is minus 1 to the n, x to the n. Let's integrate that. So ln of 1 plus x, again, technically with the absolute value, but x is between 0 and 1, so we're fine. And so it becomes the sum from 0 to infinity of minus 1 to the n. And integrate that, so x to the n plus 1 over n plus n plus 1. Yeah. Very similar. You, you take this identity and you integrate, and you get those two things. Okay, in particular, let's divide by, uh, you know, let's do ln of 1 plus u over u. So again, we take this identity, 0 to infinity, and we divide by, so we let write u instead of x, and we divide by u, so it just becomes minus 1 to the n u to the n over n plus 1 and then all you have to do is integrate from 0 to 1 so integral from 0 to 1 of ln of 1 plus u over u du equals to the sum from 0 to 1 of minus 1 to the n n plus 1 integral from 0 to 1 of u to the n du and that equals to sum from 0 to infinity of minus 1 to the n over n plus 1 squared. So one factor of n plus 1 from here, another factor from the integration. So this is our b. And then let's see what our answer becomes. The answer is simply... You see this, which is, you know, uh, uh, th this whole part, okay, Ma plus this. Sorry. Ah, sorry, that was A. In any case, our answer is and so, and I realize there was some minus sign somewhere here, but in the end, so step three. our answer is sum from n from 0 to infinity of 1 over n plus 1 squared plus sum from n from 0 to infinity of minus 1 to the n over n plus 1 squared. And so again, that came from A, and that contribution came from B, D or minus B, but anyway, in the end, we have that. And the reason I didn't evaluate this sum is because now we can just write it as sum from 0 to infinity of 1 plus 
minus 1 to the n of n plus 1 squared. And notice, what is 1 plus minus 1 to the n? Well, that just alternates between 2 and 0. 2, 0, 2, 0. In particular, for n even, this is 2. For n odd, this is 0. So in the end, this becomes, if you like, sum from k from 0 to infinity of 2 over, remember, this only works if n is even. So n is 2k, which becomes sum of 2 over 2k plus 1 squared. In other words, the sum of odd uh, squares of uh, uh, odd squares of reciprocals. Okay, and so all we need to figure out what is the sum equal to. Uh, it's very very nice. It's I guess uh, it's not the Basel problem. Let's call it like the Zurich problem or something. But um, how do we let's calculate this? Uh, it'll give us our integral in the end. Okay, so I guess step four. Sum from k from zero to infinity of one over two k plus one squared. What is that equal? In other words, what is 1 plus 1 ninth plus 1 over 25 plus that, that? So sums of squares of odd reciprocals. And it turns out we can solve this by using the Basel problem. So, because remember this fact, the sum of 1 over n squared is pi squared over 6. And there's a beautiful video I have done first, okay, that shows this is true. And let's actually use this to calculate the odd sums of squares of reciprocals, because what is that equal to? That's 1 plus 1 fourth plus 1 ninth plus 1 over 16 plus 1 over 25 plus dot 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 equals to pi squared over 6. And notice this is almost what we want because every other term is the stuff we want. So this 1 plus 1 9 plus 1 over 25. So let's separate out. Let's separate out the odd terms and the even terms. So 1 plus 1 over 9 plus 1 over 25 plus dot 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 plus 1 over 4 plus 1 over 16 plus dot 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 equals to pi squared over 6. And careful, you can't always do that. So it's very legal usually to interlace series like that, but because this is absolutely convergent, we're absolutely allowed to do that. And so what does that become? This is precisely what we want. The sum of odd uh, reciprocals, odd squares of reciprocals. And what is this? The sum of even squared of reciprocals, which is if you want the sum of from 1 to infinity of 1 over 2k squared equals to pi squared over 6. And here comes a beautiful thing. 1 over 2k squared is 1 over 4k squared. So in other words, this becomes, if you want 1 fourth sum from 1 to infinity of 1 over k squared equals to pi squared over 6, and also the stuff we want. 1 over 2k plus 1 squared. So how cool is that? The solution of the Zurich problem <laughs> involves the Basel problem again. Oh my god, okay? <laughs> So, what do we have? The stuff we want. Sum from k from 0 to infinity, 1 over 2k plus 1 squared, plus 1 fourth times pi squared over 6, equals to pi squared over 6. So in other words, the stuff we want, k from 0 to infinity, 1 over 2k plus 1 
squared equals to pi squared over 6, 1 minus 1 fourth, which is pi squared over 6, times 3 fourths, which is pi squared over 8. So it's a cool problem within a problem. The sum of odd reciprocals is pi squared over 8. And then what is our answer? Remember, our integral was just 2 times the sum of odd reciprocals of squares. And so now we can complete this step. It's 2 times pi over 8, which is pi over 4. Oh, how cool is that? And hopefully this gets upvotes on Reddit or on YouTube. So <laughs> this is really cool. And as I said, there's another way of doing this integral quite similar. It's just the execution is different using trick substitution. And I'll show that in another video. All right, so if you like that and you want to see more math, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.